Welcome to our channel. This video is part of a series based on the CITB book called Health, Safety and Environment Test for Operatives and Specialists. We guarantee that watching these videos is all you need to do to prepare for your final test. In each video, we will briefly cover a section's key points and then ask questions directly from the CITB book. This video focuses on section A02, Accidents Reporting and Recording. To make it easy to move through the video series, you will find a link in the top right corner. The actual CSCS test usually takes about 45 minutes, and you need to answer at least 45 out of 50 questions correctly to pass. Before we dive in, please support us by hitting the like and subscribe buttons. We appreciate it. Let us learn together. Plant and machinery should only be used by authorized and competent operatives. Reporting unsafe conditions is everyone's responsibility on site. Reporting near misses will help to prevent them happening again. Any accident causing injury must be recorded in an accident book. All relevant staff should be involved in investigating accidents and near misses. You suffer an injury at work and the details are recorded in the accident book. What must happen to this accident record? It must be kept in a place where anyone at work can read it. It must be sent to the insurance company at the end of the job. It must be treated as confidential under data protection laws. It must be destroyed at the end of the job due to confidentiality. What must be done if an operator is driving plant equipment faster than site speed limits? Alert all other staff on site to be careful. Inform a supervisor or manager. Shout at the driver telling them to slow down. Wait until they stop and talk to them about it. In order to reduce the risk of accidents, which one of the following should be avoided when driving vehicles on site? Use designated turning areas. Implement a one-way system around the site. Drive through loading and unloading areas. Reverse without the use of a vehicle marshaller. Which two of the following would result in you being ordered off-site? Losing your road user's driving license. Being under the influence of alcohol. Driving downhill with a heavy load. Driving without using the flashing beacon. Being under the influence of drugs. You have been injured in an accident at work and, as a result, are absent for more than seven days. Which two of the following actions must be taken? The accident must be recorded in the accident book. The local hospital and the benefits office must be informed. You must pay for any first aid equipment used to treat your injury. Your employer must inform the Health and Safety Executive, HSE. The emergency services must be called to find out how the accident happened. If you have a minor accident, who should report it? Anyone who saw the accident. The subcontractor. You, if possible. The Health and Safety Executive, HSE. You are injured in an accident at work. When should you report it? The next day before you start work immediately or as soon as possible. Only if you have to take time off work. At the end of the day before you go home. Why should you report an accident? It helps the site find out who caused it. It is a legal requirement. So that everyone can find out what happened. So that your company will be held responsible. Who must you report a serious accident to? Site security. The police service. Your employer. The ambulance service. 
What action should be taken if you witness a serious accident on site? Telephone the local doctor for advice. Tell your supervisor that you saw what happened. Say nothing in case you get someone into trouble. Ask your workmates what they think you should do. Which of the following statements best describes a near miss? An incident where you were just too late to see what happened. An incident that nearly resulted in injury or damage. An incident where someone was injured and nearly had to go to hospital. An incident where someone was injured and nearly had to take time off work. While working on site, you cut one of your fingers. What should you do? Report it and get first aid if necessary. Clean it and tell your supervisor about it later. Wash it and if it is not a problem, carry on working. Report it at the end of the day or the end of the shift. What is the main objective of carrying out an accident investigation? To place blame. To identify the people involved. To find the cause and prevent reoccurrence. To help track the cost of insurance claims. A scaffold has collapsed and you saw it happen. What should you say when you are asked about the accident? As little as possible, as you are not a scaffold expert. As little as possible because you don't want to get people into trouble. Exactly what you saw, giving as much detail as possible. Who you think should be blamed and punished. Which two of the following are the main reasons for reporting accidents, incidents and near misses? To find out whom claims should be made against. To understand how and why things went wrong. Certain incidents or accidents have to be reported to the Health and Safety Executive, HSE, to make sure none of the supervisors find out about the accident, to help the company avoid being prosecuted or fined. Which two of the following items should be recorded in the accident book? National insurance number. Date of the accident. Location of the hospital. Injuries sustained. Telephone number. If someone is injured at work, who should record it in the accident book? The first aider identified on site. The company contract manager. The injured person or someone acting for them. Someone from the Health and Safety Executive, HSE. Which of the following does not have to be recorded in the accident book? Details of the injury sustained. The injured person's home address. The date and time that the injury happened. The injured person's national insurance number. Which of the following is the least important reason for recording all accidents? It might stop them happening again. Details have to be entered in the accident book. To find out who is to blame and make sure they are prosecuted. Some accidents have to be reported to the Health and Safety Executive, HSE. Congratulations. You are a step closer to success. Keep learning until you reach your goal. You can find a link in the top right corner to go to the next video.